Uh, Gwyn Jones, Dairy Farming in West Sussex. Uh, we've got about 700 to 750 dairy cows and uh, we farm now about 1,500 acres. Uh, looking to the challenges for the future, we're quite fortunate in that we supply a major retailer, so our milk price is pretty good. Uh, I think the key now is for us to keep concentrating on our efficiency and the costs, of course, and herd health. That's something we're paying a lot of attention to now, disease control, absolutely minimizing lameness and mastitis and all the problems that every dairy ha farmer has. Uh, we believe that uh, we need to work closely with the buyer in order to uh, improve both the animal health status on this farm, welfare status and environmental credentials. All these things matter to the consumer these days. As far as regulations go, uh, there's the usual, uh, the usual uh, bureaucracy and, and regulation of course and, and paperwork which is horrendous. Uh, the big one here was NVZ and that's what prompted us to first of all look at AD because we needed to invest substantial amounts of money in extra slurry storage and we decided that we would go all the way and capitalize on that uh, by installing a bio digester. Uh, so overall, I think with fertilizer now coming down quite sharply, uh, overall, I think costs will, will drop. And the only significant uh, problem we, we might have is the availability and the cost of protein. I think fundamentally for sustainable dairy farming to, to, to prosper, we need to make sure that there's enough money uh, enough profit to enable us to invest. I mean, we've invested huge amounts of money in this farm and that, of course, now has to be paid back. It's, it's, it's extremely difficult to make enough money to continue with investment, which is needed, of course, for all the things I talked about, such as welfare and environmental credentials and regulation, uh, never mind uh, to get some money to live on.